Right, the first Grand Tour of the year is out. The route is here. Giro d'Italia 2023. I tried to live stream there, but it didn't go well. So anyway, you may have seen me looking confused while trying to live stream. But anyway, uh, the route does not go in the south at all. People are not happy. Not on the island, Sardinia or Sicily either. Starts in Abruzzo, I believe. Um, or Abruzzo, sorry. And yeah, you know, interesting uphill finish uh, at the end. So decent. Uh, it's a time trial, actually. Sorry, 18 kilometers. And that's one theme for this is that it looks like Remco is going to enjoy it. So anyway... Remco should be in pink by the end of this stage. Then we got a classic Giro pan flat sprint stage. Looks uh, maybe a bit hillier than you'd expect. But anyway, that'll be a sprint, especially early on. You know, a lot of teams there. This is an interesting stage. Could be a sprint, could be a break, probably a reduced bunch sprint. Depends who's really there. Um, you know, back in the day, this would be an Ulysses stage. If he's there, he could still do well. Van der Poel, if he's there, etc. Someone like that. I think I'm mainly going to focus on the grand, on the GC wise. This is an interesting stage. We'll probably go to the break again. If this was further in, you know, like towards the end of the Grand Tour, it could be different, and there could be more chance of GC chaos because there are quite a lot of climbs um, that look decently long. Um, unfortunately, they don't really go into the length of the climbs or the steepness, but you can see that decently. Uh, oh no, maybe they do. Oh, the climb details are here. Sorry. So this is the last climb, um, which we can see is pretty decent, like nine percent for a good amount of time. Uh, nine point six k at six percent is is pretty strong. Um, then we go on to the next stage, which is stage five. Uh, mainly downhill. This will be interesting to see if the sprint. You know, you can imagine a break going early and then a sprint towards the end. So so far, you know, a pretty interesting Jura stage. Not too many real pan flat sprint stages, uh, which is good to see. Again, this is a could, should be a sprinter stage, but again with two big climbs, is it's really hard to tell. Uh, this is Napoli to Napoli, so I think that'll be quite exciting. Uh, to see this is Gran Sasso d'Italia. This is a large, large mountaintop finish. This should be, you know, a massive day for the GC. A good 26k at three and a half percent. But the last bit is eight percent. I believe Simon Yates won the last time they were here. 2100 meters, so a decent amount of or a decent altitude, not crazy, but you know, enough. A four star rating. Um again, like a normal Giro, this is quite backloaded. This is one for the break, nothing will happen GC wise. This is a long TT. We're in the Techno Gym Village, which is pretty funny, but 34k pan flat, Remco gains more time on anyone else. Um, again, a, a stage for the break, uh, could be a sprint stage, but not guaranteed. This looks like a very chill stage on paper, and it probably should be a sprint, to be honest. The climbs don't look too long, and they're quite far out. Um, this is, again, probably one for the break, decently interesting finish, but... Again, this Giro is looking very, very break-esque. Not too many sprint stages. Sorry, like obvious sprint stages. This is the big mountain stage. Well, one of the big mountain stages. 200 kilometers. And this is, sorry, this is the queen stage. 200 kilometers. I've heard it's about 5,000 meters of climbing. they got the Col de Grand San Bernard, the Quad de Cour, and Crans Montana. Um, if we look at the climbs as well, you'll see, I believe this is just be the last one. Oh, no, this is the Quad de Cour, um, which is the first climb of the day. 15K at 9%. That is grim. Next climb is uh then oh, wait a minute, this is a very confusing website. Uh the Crans Montana, which is the summit finish, uh 13k at 7%. This should again should be decent. Not crazy altitude, well no altitude, but alas, I think it should but uh yeah, I think it should be good stage for sure. If we look on the profile, three proper climbs, uh, you know, 2,500 meters, that is good. This could be, you know, if you made it hard from the off. It'd be super, super difficult. 200k long. This is what we love to see. Well done, Giro. Happy. Happy. Could be 250, but anyway. This is a really interesting stage. I like these ones because, like, you know, there's a pan flat bit where the brake will try and grow. Then the brake might go on the climb. Like, you know, if you've got all day to watch it, it'll definitely be an interesting stage to see. Goes up to 2,000 meters, but it's pan flat. You know, if you had a really good sprinty boy who can climb, then maybe they'd get over it. But anyway, that's pretty, pretty interesting. So we'll then go on to Bergamo, uh, which is obviously where... Lombardia is so you can see some of the climbs apparently are supposed to be around here they, but it could be the next stage to be honest because none of these I don't think are in well they're not in the finish of Lombardia uh, but anyway this will probably be a GC day a little bit of GC action but mainly break action especially when you get to towards the end of the stages it's definitely smaller climbs can do the damage this again looks like a nice day for the GC not super long or oh, sorry 200k which is good and that means it's going to be a decently hard day up to 1500 meters we'll have a look at the climbs to have a little 
a little look. This is the last climb, and I think it's got eight percent for a good amount of kilometers. How long is that? That's about uh, oh, so this is the stupidest thing I've ever seen. An eight k eight percent, but twenty one k at seven percent. That's enough. This fifteen percent ramp that'll be good. I think there'll be a lot of GC action. So again, like not a pretty pretty decent mountain top finish. This is a guaranteed sprint stage, which is good to see. Uh, this is also another sort of up down stage. It'll be interesting to see how much GC action occurs. Um, you know, it's it's obviously hard early on, but not crazy. And um, we're getting towards the final bit. And now this this is a hard stage, but we're gonna see that normally the last three stages of the Giro are the most important, and you can see it. This one is really a super super important stage. One hundred eighty two kilometers. Paso Campalongo, Paso Valparolo, Paso Giao, Paso Tre Croci, and Tre Cime de Lavaredo. Is that right? Lavaredo. Anyway, this looks like a proper proper stage as well. I mean, it's like uphill from basically from the off, and then, you know, the, the key climbs, all at altitude. Fingers crossed, everyone, that there's no snow or anything. But this should be a super exciting stage. Um, and definitely one for the climbers. 2,200 metres is nice. Um, I think, you know, Remco proved that he can go to altitude. So considering Remco sh should be going, that'll be good. And then we've got a very interesting stage, which is a time trial, but a mountain time trial uh, on the, you know, the last proper stage. Pan flat, I assume we'll have some bike changes at this split here. Uh, and then it's super steep. I've heard like 4k at 9%, I believe was the sort of numbers people were quoting. Um, you can see here, we got 7k at 12%. That is steep. That is super, super steep. And that includes the downhill. This bit is like 15% uh, for a five, four point, yeah, five kilometers. So 15% for five kilometers. So this will be really, you know, you could lose a lot of time on this climb for sure. A minute or two would not be surprising, especially the flat changing bikes. That is going to be pretty interesting. And obviously pan flat sprint stage. So, you know, how, how would we classify this? Uh, I think you'd classify it as one... I don't know, it's got a lot of time trial kilometers. It's, it's got a lot of time, time trial kilometers. It's got a lot of long stages, which is interesting. Uh, not too many sprint stages, you know, maybe only three or four nailed on. Uh, it's really one for the breakaways. I'd say a, a lot of breaks will stay away, as, as is typical in the Giro. But I also think it's someone who is strong, you know, someone who's used to the 200k stage. If you look along here, there's a lot of 200k um, stages, which is good. And also a lot of 200k, like, you know, 220k Grand Sasso. Is, is 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 good um and a lot of the mountain stages are long again that's 210 kilometers and even this one which is pretty hard is is 180 kilometers so again it's definitely one which is going to be hard it's going to be interesting hopefully with the time trials people have to attack from far out but i think it's going to be a good giro i'm excited for it uh cheers for watching hope you did enjoy and i'll see you in the next one